All right, I wanted to show everyone how to make, how to make, I'm sorry about that, hummus using the Instant Pot. So I'm going to be making it with chickpeas and since I did not pre-soak my chickpeas, I'm going to use the method that they've described um, on the Instant Pot YouTube channel, which is to cook them quickly for two minutes at high pressure, covered with about two inches of water um, and a pinch of salt. Let it come down from pressure. After it comes down from pressure, uh, discard the water and do the beans again. Repeat the process with the beans, only instead of doing it for two minutes, you follow the instructions on the or in the um, instant pot manual for chickpeas. Um, and I'll bring it when I bring you guys back. Um, actually, I'm going to set up the shot and show you guys uh, the chickpeas going in and uh, covering them with water. Okay, just one second. Let me get it. Take they're set up. Okay, so the first thing that needs to go in there is the one pound of chickpeas. And you don't have to worry about rinsing these or cleaning them out because the water that we're going to be cooking them in is going to be discarded, which is helpful. And the reason I'm, another reason I'm doing this is because according to that video, it helps to get rid of some of the complex sugars that contribute to um, a, an uncomfortable com or an uncomfortable subject, uh, flatulence, um, normally associated with consuming beans. So hold on, that's not enough, but uh, um, I'm getting water everywhere and I want to clean it up before I get started because it's never smart to have um, water between you and your instant pot and I was always taught, I'm self-taught cook um, and everything I do I find is much easier to accomplish in the kitchen if um, you follow the mise en place, which is everything in its place. Um, Alright, so as you can see I'm filling this up, I'm getting ready to measure it, looks like that's plenty. Um, and the trick is, is to touch the top of your, the beans to the tip of your finger, or the ed bottom of your finger, and when the water comes up to this knuckle, that's approximately two inches. So I try and get the beans all nice and even in there. And when I stick it in there, oh, I'm still a little bit shy of two inches, so I gotta put just a little bit more in. Just a little bit, not a lot. All right. And we're at the second knuckle, so the other ingredient that needs to be added um, is a pinch of salt. So I'm just gonna put in a pinch of salt. Move this out of the way. And then the next thing you need to do is to place your lid on, secure it, make sure your regulator is in the steam position, and then I'm gonna bring you around front and show you what I have to do next. Just a second. Okay, so what she said in the video was to cook them on high pressure for two minutes. And that'll help get rid of those complex sugars and get the beans um, ready to cook. Um, so I'm gonna let these go for the two minutes and I'll, just a second. And I'll bring you back and show you the next steps. Okay, so the um, beans have been done cooking now for six minutes and the directions in, um, in the link in the description below say that I'm supposed to release the pressure and if I see any anything other than steam coming out of the pressure, I'm supposed to put it back in the pressure position, count to 10 and then release again. So let's try it. Shall we? Alright. Nothing else is coming out except steam. So we're good. 
start moving you around. All right, as soon as all the steam is out, I'll bring you guys right back uh, and um, drain the beans. Okay, so all the pressure has released. I'm gonna open the lid. Always open it away from you. I wanted to show you guys what they look like um, before I drain them and bring you back. Okay, so we're back. I've drained my garbanzo beans. An extra step that I take that she doesn't say is necessary, she doesn't mention in the video is I rinse the beans and if I see anything, you know, icky, you know, ugly rocks, which I didn't, I pick them out. Um, additionally, I rinse out the inside of the Instant Pot in the event that any of those indigestible sugars she mentions um, are in there. Now it's time to uh, add water back into the pot and um, make it two inches or bring it two inches above the beans like I did last time. And this time that'll be more water because the beans are plumper now. And I would give you a measurement, but for everybody, the, the measurement will be different. It's all depending on your amount of beans and um, how plump they are. So that's two inches for me above. Give me just a second and I'll bring you around front to show you how I set this. Okay, so got you back here in the front. As you can see, it's been 21 minutes since my beans finished their two minutes quick soak and in the video she she mentions that you only have to cook the beans for eight to nine minutes I've done this before from my experience that wasn't enough I ended up doing them a total of 25 to 30 minutes I can't remember exactly which but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, do them for or cook them on high pressure for 25 minutes because I want them really mushy because I'm going to be using this batch for hummus Okay, so what I would do, or what the next step is, is to turn the machine off, or turn the Instant Pot off, put your lid back on, put your regulator in the pressure setting, which allows pressure to build up inside. Hit manual, and it automatically defaults to 30, and I'm gonna bring it down to 25, and let that go for 25 minutes. When it's done, I'll bring you guys back and show you what we got. Okay, so it has been 33 minutes since my chickpeas finished cooking. And now I'm venting with the steam that's remaining in there so that the pressure is released and it's safe to open. Now I'm just waiting for the pin to drop should any second. Give it a second, give it a second, and there it went. Now it's safe to open. Remember, turn the Instant Pot lid, lift, and turn, push away from you. And the beauty about the Instant Pot is it has these little knobs on the side of the lid to hook on to the handles on the side of the Instant Pot. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check and see if these are mushy enough for me. Gotta get some on the spoon. Actually just one or two. And they look really mushy. That's the consistency I'm looking for to make hummus with. My daughter would, would scream at me if I didn't save a couple of these for her to eat. She would eat um, chickpeas or she does, not she would, she does eat chickpeas right out of the can. Alright, so I'm going to drain these and turn them into hummus. Um, if you don't want to watch me make hummus, now is the time to um, click stop. If you do want to watch me make hummus, uh, keep watching. Alright. Okay, so I'm back. I've got um, my recipe gathered to make homemade hummus and I'm going to be making a special kind of hummus and I'll tell you in just a second. 
But the ingredients for basic hummus are two cups or one 15 ounce can of chickpeas rinsed and drained, one quarter to one half cup tahini, one half teaspoon salt, and it also says a half a teaspoon of cumin, but I always bump it up to a full teaspoon of cumin because I'm a, one of those people who likes lots of cumin. In my chili, I put extra. Um, the recipe calls for half a clove of garlic, but I didn't have a huge garlic um, clove, so I just used two smaller size cloves and the juice of a whole lemon and two to three tables or two tablespoons of um, olive oil and if needed I've never had to use it um, two to three teaspoons of, of water and I don't have the olive oil here because I'll just pour it in there and with a count of one which will give me one tablespoon and the special kind of hummus I'm making is red pepper hummus and I have some red roasted red peppers here that were packed in water from gr and were made in grease. They're really, really good. All right, so give me a minute and um, I'm gonna get the um, food processor set up and we'll, uh, I'll show you the process of putting it all together. Okay, so what I have here is my food processor set up. I'm going to use my regular blades, not the um, grating blade. And the first thing you want to do when you're making hummus is to get your chickpeas as smooth as possible. And while I'm doing the chickpeas, I always go ahead and throw the garlic cloves in. I say, why create more work for myself if I don't have to? So I'm going to whir these up and I'll bring you right back in just a second. Okay, so I've been wearing it for a little bit and now I think it's um, at a consistency where I'm ready to add my tahini. Um, as you can see, it's not completely a paste yet, but when you um, smush it together, it I don't know if you can see that here. If you smush it together, it, it holds together. Can you see that over there on the side? So what, like I said, what I'm going to do now is add the tahini and then whir that up some more. And if you don't know what tahini is, tahini is um, just like peanut butter, only instead of using peanuts, they use sesame seeds or sesame. Um, and there's a couple of kinds of tahini you can get. You can get roasted, not roasted. Um, I only had two types available to me here. When I lived in the Middle East, I had a plethora of options here, just two. I'm sure I can find more eventually, but right now, this is what I've been able to find. So I use what I got. If anybody's interested in knowing the type I have um, used in this recipe, just leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be more than happy to let you know. All right, so I'm going to wear this up and bring you back in just a second. Okay, so this is what it looks like after the initial first whir with all the ingredients added. It smells wonderful, by the way. And while I was um, processing it on high, I um, opened up my olive oil and I poured it in a very thin stream, counting 1 1,000, 2 1,000. And once I reached 2 1,000, I stopped pouring and I watched the consistency and it, it looks exactly how I want it at this stage. It's got a little bit more chunk in it than I want at this point, so I'm going to give it another um, couple of words, you know, pulse it a little bit and see what we get. Um, after that, um, I'm going to um, decide whether or not I need to add more olive oil to it. I'm thinking I'm not going to, but I'll let you know in just a second, okay? Okay, we're back. Um, if you heard my dog, sorry. She saw somebody outside. And the extra worrying has done the trick. It is now a uh, creamy consistency. It's It tastes wonderful. Sorry for the dog. Um, she's excited. Um, I'm going to have my son taste it and um, let you guys see whether or not it worked out from his perspective. All right. Talk to you guys in a few minutes. Okay. In case anybody's interested, 
And what I ended up getting out of that um, recipe, those are four four ounce um, mason jars. They're not completely stuffed to the brim, but I'd say they're at least three ounces each. And then there's some over there on the side that's going to be um, something I share with my son and my husband and then my daughter if she's interested. Um, and I'm going to take that, or my husband can take some of that, or my daughter or my son can take one of those containers with them in the morning with some of the vegetables I'm going to cut up. And they have either a snack during the day or they have a lunch because hummus is um, a great source of protein that's low fat and good for you. Okay, so I just figured I'd share with you guys what I got out of that. Um, as soon as my son comes back into the house, I'll share with you what he thinks. And if he doesn't, I'll insert it in the comments below because he's out there working on his car. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be a thumbs up because he's given me a thumbs up on this recipe multiple times. Alright, in case I don't see you guys again, thanks. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions on what it is you'd like to see me make in the Instant Pot next time, leave them in the comments section below. If you like this video, show me some love and give me a big thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, um, click the subscribe button as I have Instant Pot videos coming on a regular basis as well as uh, half marathon training videos uh, using the Jeff Galloway method, uh, which is relevant and isn't relevant because I cook healthy so I can run and I run so I can eat. It's a, it's a wonderful cycle. All right, so uh, I will talk with you guys again soon. Bye.